In this episode, we'll take a look at the impending changes that the ranked battle overhaul will bring to the game this week. If this interests you, please stand by. Hey all you Splinterheads, welcome back. Bronze Dragon here saying thanks for dropping by. Well, uh, this ranked battle overhaul article was posted on Peak D about four days ago. And a lot of people have had the chance to go through it, but I thought it bore uh, taking another look at since this change is right around the corner. And by right around the corner, I mean in about two days. Okay, so at the end of the current season, which would be on February 29th, um, then these changes will go into effect. So I wanted to step back, take another look at the details, go through them, and kind of theorize how this is going to affect all of us and all of our play. Before we get into it, uh, if this information is helpful to you and interesting on a weekly basis, please think about liking the video and giving it a subscription. Also, look in the show notes because I will include a list of everybody that I know that covers Splinterlands currently, uh, mostly on YouTube. Um, please go out and like and subscribe to their, uh, their channels because it helps Splinterlands overall get to the um, higher up in the YouTube algorithm. I don't think we're ever gonna be as popular as you know uh, other big name games, but what we can do, help the name get up there in the YouTube algorithm is by giving plenty of likes, subscribes, commenting on all the videos, sharing videos that you find particularly interesting to communities on social media that you find uh, may be interested in that. I'm not saying spam people, but the more we get it out there, the better off we are. And um, it's basically advertising for Splinterlands, right? Okay, with that said, let's go ahead and get stuck in. Now, this week, uh, like I said, the 29th on Thursday at the end of the current season, uh, we're going to, un or they're going to undertake installing, uh, upgrading the game or changing the game, however you look at it, uh, with the ranked battle overhaul. This article was posted, and I'll leave the link in the show notes, uh, about four days ago. And I read it when it first came out, and I just wanted to go back through and take another look at it just to get all the details out there in case you were iffy on a few topics. Okay, so I'm going to read through most of this and then insert my comments um, I think you know just right up front the TLDR is I think that most people like the idea of this change and uh, myself I like the idea um, I'm kind of iffy on how and I think I think even the team is iffy on how this is going to all settle out and they admitted uh, I'm kind of jumping ahead a little bit here, but they admitted that it might shake out and they might need to make some changes depending upon, you know, things occur that uh, were not uh, thought of beforehand when you make rather large changes to games. But this is the first major change like this in quite a while, so we'll see. Let's go ahead and jump in. <clears throat> As most of you are already aware, one of the Splinterlands team's major areas of focus for 2024 is building a better overall game experience for both new and existing, existing players. This includes things like simplifying some of the mechanics to make them easier for players to understand, providing more tutorials, help text, and more and other information throughout the game, and addressing certain areas that lead to per perverse incentives or unfair situations for certain players. OK, now I think they're addressing the fact of people um, staying lower ranked than what they really theoretically should uh, to kind of maybe I don't want to use the word abuse because in my mind, they're playing within the rules that were set out, you know, like I kept myself in gold instead of going into uh, diamond because I know I my deck is better suited for gold and I made more chests off that. I don't think that's abusing the system. Now, there are some people that uh, abused it in other ways, but you know, I think that as long as you are playing within the rules set out, uh, it's not quote unquote perverse. Of course, we have lots of uh, bots and stuff like that that are abusing the game as it is. Okay, let's go on with that uh, before I get too far off track. 
The first area of the product that will be updated as part of this initiative is the ranked battle system, which will be getting a significant overhaul starting at the end of the current ranked play season on Thursday, February 29th, 2024. This is something we feel has been sorely needed for quite some time, and we look forward to the update creating a better experience for all players. There are three goals that we have had in mind when rethinking the ranked battle system, and all of the three, all of the changes discussed below are aimed at achieving these goals. Number one, simplify the system as much as possible to make it easier for players to navigate and make it easier to identify and address issues and misplaced in incentives. In number two, ensure that it is always in a player's best interest to get more and higher level cards and to achieve higher ratings. And number three, create a proper rating system that accurately reflects a player's likelihood of winning a match and therefore makes matchmaking uh, more fair. So basically the terms are pitched, uh, they're trying to change the game to, you know, uh, make it easier to understand for new players, make it easier to figure out as far as leveling up when you're going up in the rankings. And um, I don't know about more fair. Uh, I guess that's an argument towards people down leveling and stay, you know, playing in gold with an absolutely fully leveled out gold deck versus people that are just barely playing in gold or something, something like that, I guess. Um, okay, so I can agree with all these. Now, will this actually happen in this manner? Uh, time will tell. Now, <clears throat> removing league limits. First and foremost of the changes is that we will be completely removing all limitations around the different leagues for ranked battles. Going forward, with the exception of Novice League, a player's league will simply be a cosmetic visual indicator of the rating range that they are currently in. Okay, uh, I think we've all played games where this is the uh, you know this is how they do it's it's all just uh, numbers you know you're going to get matched with people plus or minus a certain um, uh, uh, distance within your number uh, above and below a little bit and that's how it will be there will be no more uh, staying in gold like I was or or whatever. This will be accomplished with the following changes to rank battle. There will no longer be leaderboards for any league except champion. Okay. Now I can see this, that the, the people playing at the top end of the game, in my estimation, will start earning more. Okay, but we'll see this with other changes. There will no longer be maximum level limits for cards, nor will there be penalties for low level cards. So they're removing the low level uh, card penalty, which I like. Okay, so I see the reason why they put it in the first place. It was more of a Band-Aid, but they're removing that. And they also said there will no uh, be no longer uh, maximum level limits. This goes to the fact of them want, wanting you to buy as many cards as possible, level up your cards uh, so you can play higher and higher levels, right? Next, players no longer will be able to choose not to advance to a higher league since leagues will be just representing a rating range, which we just discussed. Matchmaking will no longer be limited by league and will seek to match players within the opponent closest to them in rating. We also just uh, mentioned that. The SPS reward pool for ranked battles will no longer de be divided by league and will instead be one single reward pool for modern format and one and a separate single reward pool for wild. And they didn't really say here whether they're even or equal. We obviously know there are a lot of bots in Wild. Uh, I make use of the Archmage bot, um, and there's a lot of bot farms there. So you can see just by doing the numbers, a lot of us uh, YouTubers have talked about in the last few weeks how much more profitable it is to actually live play in Modern versus being in Wild. Um, so that's going to be a factor you're going to have to think about. Um, but this back to my um, talking point about it's possibly that the people up on the champ leaderboard will be earning more because now they're just going to have this huge, huge pool to come from instead of separate pools for each league, right? Obviously, this is, uh, we'll see how it, it shakes out, but um, that's kind of the idea that caught me right off the bat. Okay. These changes work to address all three of the stated goals. First, the system will be much simpler and easier for players to understand and navigate, which I'm all for because um, it's part of the whole uh, streamlining the game, making it easier to get people into the game. This is one of the things that, uh, you know, uh, playing uh, under the old system, uh, you earn a certain amount of points, you lose a certain amount of points for a loss, depending upon the person you're ranked against, and that just they're just simplifying the whole thing, okay? Um, they will be able to use any cards they have at any level and will not have to worry about keeping their cards under the max level caps or losing out or rewards by using cards that are too low level. 
I agree with that. However, I also agree, or my point here is there's still going to be a max cap, right? And that max cap is going to be dictated by what level your summoners are. Okay, so there's still you still got to play within what your summoners can cast. So most of my summoners, uh, as far as I know, all my summoners are leveled pretty much to gold level. There's a few off ones that I only have one BCX of, but most of them are leveled at gold. So I'm still not going to be ca be able to cast monsters above gold. Right. Um, but that goes back to the fact that, hey, if you want to, you can buy maxed out uh summoner cards and go with that um, and then you'll have to go ahead and level up your other cards to match right to take advantage of that the only way you're going to be able to take advantage of max level summoners is uh, increase the level of all your other cards right okay okay so um second this new system will allow players to benefit from higher level cards at all levels of play which means it will always be in a player's best interest to acquire more cards and we hope to see this increase the overall demand for cards over time we just talked about this this also um Someone, uh, I was watching another YouTuber talking about this earlier. I it might have been um, Gathering the Magic. Um, I forget exactly who said it, but um, they were talking about uh, or theorizing that this change will also increase demand for rentals, right? So we'll have to see. And also I could see that the what you would actually put up for rent is going to change as well. Because I used to have this full fleet of cards leveled from, you know, one to... Uh, you know, about halfway up the spectrum. I never really had a lot of max level cards that I rented out. Um, I still don't. Most of my cards are leveled to gold, right? Um, but most of them back in the day, they rented out fine because of what? Bots, right? But in this case, I think that it's going to change and people are going to start wanting to rent max level cards out instead of, you know, you know, level four or five, you know, something like that. So once again, we'll see. And thirdly, players will no longer be incentivized or even able to stay in specific leagues, and the matchmaking system will no longer be limited by matching people in the same league, which should allow for much fairer matchmaking. Please note that these changes only affect ranked battles and not tournaments or guild brawls. Those will still work as they have previously with league level caps and other league-based restrictions. Okay. Now, this goes, the next section here goes into the change of the rat rating system, which I kind of jumped forward to a few minutes ago. Uh, next, we will be getting rid of the current ELO system, which I had to look up. And it was kind of invented uh, for like chess and chess-based strategy games where um, you're looking at, you're comparing, um, you're comparing the strength and strategy level of one person, like the strength of their deck and the strength of their play versus another player, you know, um, kind of like in golf, you have a handicap, something like that. Um, but in this case, it just doesn't work as well as a flat rating system is what they're saying. Um, and I can see the point, right? So, so anyway, they're getting rid of the ELO system for ratings and replacing it with a flat system uh, where players will always gain 20 rating points for a win and lose 20 rating points for a loss, regardless of the rating of their opponent. Please note that win streak ratings bonuses will still apply for all leagues except for champion and will give double the rating increase. So if you're on a streak, you get 40 instead of 20. Um, and going back to the regardless of the rating of the opponent, I think that's only going to be like a problem the first week or two, because after a while, um, you're going to settle in an area where your deck needs to be uh, and where your play is. And I've said this before, because uh, you're going to get into a, a median that... Um, your deck strength, and if you use a bot, or if you're if you're a really good player, you could possibly play up above it a little bit with good strategy. And if you're a poor player, you would play a little bit below that um, because you're a poor player. Um, but I think that um, it's going to encourage everybody to want to buy more cards um, and learn how to use them, which is a good thing, right? It's uh, getting better at the game, right? While ELO uh, works very well for competi uh, completely skill-based games like chess, it does not work as well for games like Splinterlands, which have a significant luck component. Uh, by changing to a flat rating system, we eliminate the situation where a high-rated player gets matched with a lower-rated player and loses to RNG and then suffers a disproportionate loss to their rating. Um, that's one of the things I always love doing. I always love uh, getting matched up. Uh, well, I didn't love getting matched up. I love taking away a win. 
you get matched up against a person significantly higher than you and they're fielding max level cards and just because you picked a, a good lineup and placed them right that particular time you won by luck love it that's uh still that's one of the best feelings right in fact you know when that happens i'll still uh text a, a link to my brother to check out the check out the battle right we hope that this change will encourage players competing for spots on the champion leaderboard to play more battles as well. In the current system, due to the using ELO for ratings, players at the top of champion are incentivized to stop playing once they achieved a high enough rating. But with these changes, players at the top should be incentivized to play as much as possible. This should create much uh, create more match liquidity at the higher rating levels in addition to more energy purchasing at the top pricing tier. So they're encouraging uh, more purchasing <laughs> uh, for those people competing for those prices. And I've also heard people in Champion that uh, kind of, I don't want to say complain, but they they basically said that it's hard to find a match. It takes a while to find a match sometimes. So anyway, um, that should solve that. Uh, and it should lead to a bunch of high-end people competing for that top uh, that top five leaderboard uh, spots by uh, spending a lot of money purchasing energy, right? Please note that ratings will be capped at 5,000 for the purposes of calculating reward shares for loot chests and SPS winnings. This means that even if a player attains a rating above 5,000, which should be possible after these changes, a rating of 5,000 will be used for calculating their reward shares. This will allow players to compete for higher ratings while preventing them from taking an inordinate share of the rewards. Well, that's good that they have a level limit there. So, And ratings will still be reset as normal at the end of the season. Now, updated energy costs, league ratings, and resets. As part of this update, we will also be adjusting the cost for purchasing additional energy for battles. The cost will now increase at each tier within each league and not just at each league level like before. This should make the cost of energy more consistent re relative to rewards as players move up in rating and will lessen the incentive to stay at lower leagues in order to take advantage of cheaper energy. Also, energy will now be purchasable with voucher tokens at the rate of 100 DEC per voucher. So that's nice. Um, if you want to buy some energy, I never buy energy, but if you want to buy some energy, uh, you can use your vouchers. Um, and once again, this is one of those changes that will take effect. Um, so some people apparently were staying in lower leagues to take advantage of cheaper energy. Uh, I was unaware of that. So live and learn. Finally, we'll be adjusting the rating ranges for Novice and Bronze League, which we believe will help with the new player onboarding experience, and we will be adjusting the end of the season results for each league to ensure that they are all multiples of 20 to work with the new flat rating system. The new ranges are shown in the table below, and I will leave, like I said, in the link. Uh, I'll leave the link in the show notes if you want to check out uh, those. But what it basically boils down to is that uh, with these changes, new players will have a little more time in novice practicing against the bots before moving to bronze. And once in bronze, the rewards will be higher right out of the gate. So this would be good. It's part of the player experience of bringing more people online, um, you know, trying to get new customers. And they go into future changes. Uh, the items listed above are just the first set of changes that are planned to go out as part of our overall focus on improving the player experience in the near future. We are also planning to release a completely revamped reward system for ranked battles that will replace the current loot chest system, one-click set rentals to allow new players to easily obtain a decent deck that will allow them to compete in the lower leagues, and an amazing new onboarding experience aimed at teaching new players about all the different aspects of Splinterlands in a fun and engaging way. So I think most of us agree this is needed and we've been talking about it for a while. So they're working on it now. So uh, this wraps it up. Um, with such a major change to the system, it is going to take some time for things to settle in after the launch next Thursday. And we expect that things may be a little bit chaotic at first. I expect they'll be very chaotic. Um, Players' ratings do not accurately reflect what they are supposed to at the moment, and it will take some time once the changes are put into place for the ratings to be adjusted. 
This means at first some players will have many easy wins and will quickly move up to an appropriate rating and some players will have many losses until they move down to the appropriate rating. So basically put all those people that were staying down leveled uh, purposefully are going to work their way up and those people they face down here are going to lose a bunch of matches and vice versa. But like I said, I expect that won't take too long to, to even itself out and you'll get to a, a, a standing point where your deck is. After a season or two, we expect that players will all mostly have settled in, I would say before a season or two, but uh, in the ratings ranges that accurately reflect their ability to win a match against a simul similarly rated opponent and their deck strength, once achieved, we expect it will make for a much better and fairer matchmaking system that always encourages players to get more and higher level cards in order to continue to move up and earn rewards. Additionally, we don't expect that this will be perfect out of the gate. There will likely be some changes that don't go exactly as we planned or situations that we didn't consider. As with most changes, we will be keeping a close watch on how things go once the changes take effect. Listen to community feedback and make any additional tweaks that we and the community feel are necessary. We also feel that by simplifying the system, it will make it easier to identify and address any issues that do arise. All in all, we feel that these changes will significantly improve the player experience across the board and that they are an absolutely necessary step towards our goal of significantly growing the player base over the coming years. We are extremely excited to kick off the first release in the major initiative alongside all of you, and we appreciate all your support, ideas, and feedback along the way. So uh, I know that was kind of a long diatribe. I wanted to read that to get his words uh, and not kind of misconstrue any words. So a good, um, what I view as a pretty good set of changes. And this article has a lot of uh, a, a lot of good comments, uh, informative comments on it. I'm not going to read through them, but if you're interested in this topic, I would say go over to this page and check out the comments uh, because there are some informed um, uh, commentary on the topic. I think most people are on board with the changes, but we're a little, still a little bit leery about how everything's going to shake out. Obviously, any big change like this are going to have some unthought of uh, consequences. Hopefully everything works well. We can just cross our fingers. Um, with that, uh, it's right around the corner. It'll be happening day after next. So get ready. Um, I would say that uh, probably the best case scenario is if you don't have maxed out summoners, maybe start working on those and some of your more favorite cards uh, upping your level. Either way, this has been Bronze Dragon uh, with an update on um, what the changes to the ranked battle system will be this week. I hope everyone on your side is happy and healthy, and I will see you on the flip side. Thank you.